This wave was just going out on the shelves at Toys R Us, and we're gonna crack open this Armadillo Bath Wave, and maybe we'll actually add some of these figures to my display in the background for future uploads. Or maybe not. Let's take a closer look at this wave and see if it's worth buying. outside of their packaging except for the Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home because there was no bath piece there and it's very very similar build to his suit outside over there on the right which is the inside out suit so honestly I have to say I do like the wave it's one of those waves that if you really like movie figures it's probably better for you I personally prefer the comic book accurate style figures so I don't have any display where I have movie figures but maybe I maybe I should maybe this is a sign that I should be getting into it but I have to say I have to say I love this build a figure though right here armadillo very very menacing He's very bulky, he's hefty, which I do like for Build-A-Figures. I don't typically like to Build-A-Figures that are smaller and wiry, something that could easily be on its own card. This is definitely a beefy figure. It was a little difficult to actually put this guy together because the uh, joint space I had to use a lot of pressure, and when you're putting a lot of pressure on the torso, it's very hollow. You feel like it's going to snap or break or anything like that, so it was a little bit frustrating, but overall, really like the Build-A-Figure, and he has a lot of points of articulation, so he's good to pose, and that is actually a figure I might actually put in my back display. The Doctor Strange, it's unbelievable how much this figure's likeness resembles the actor. It's unbelievable. You know, nowadays with 3D printing, what they can actually achieve it's uh, quite shocking. Now, he has a lot of pieces that go with him. These here uh, can actually hold his, his little uh, magic stuff here. So you have two of those. You have two fists as well to go along with his more open spell casting hands. The Miles Morales is really, really cool. Uh, only thing is, if you're going to open these all together, be careful. Because these hands... I come with the figure very similar to the inside out Spider-Man hands with the black suit. Uh, but overall, great articulation. Like all Spider-Man figures, highly posable. And this would go perfect in any sort of Spider-Man display. Maybe even as a replacement to your current Miles Morales figure. J. Jonah Jameson, J.K. Simmons, holy crap. Again, any action figure where it's going to be based off of an actor in a film... It's just unbelievable what they can do. It really does look exactly like J.K. Simmons. I really enjoy this figure. Only thing that I don't like, and yeah, a lot of these suited figures have that. You see some barcodes and some numbers at the side of his leg in there. Not a big fan of that, but it's okay. Still, if you like movie figures, this is going to have to go into your display until they have anything better than that, but... Uh, you do get two hands with it as well, two open hands, and you do get an ex uh, interchangeable head. And the Morlin, I have to say this is my favorite figure besides the Baff is Morlin. Uh, really, really poseable. I love the articulation. I love the two head sculpts. This one right here with the smile, it's more menacing than the one over there that I have displayed that comes with the figure. But overall, very, very cool. I, I like the... The suit that he comes with, it really does bring me back to the comic books. And I have to say, Shriek, speaking of comic books, Maximum Carnage, one of my favorite comic book series. If I am going to display my symbiote figures, I would have to display Carnage's girlfriend. This is a absolute must-have for any Spider-Man collector. 
So that's probably my second favorite figure of the wave. And of course, the inside out Spider-Man suit. Not too bad. Obviously, it's something if you are into collecting movie figures, that's probably a figure that you're going to need. But overall, it's a pass if you're not into movie figures. But if I was going to rank these figures, hmm, I would have to say my favorite is the bath over here. Have to say that's my favorite. And my second favorite would be Shriek. Then I'd say Morlin. I'd say Morlin would be my third. And then I would pick the Miles Morales. Um, Doctor Strange, just because his likeness is so spot on, I would say the Doctor Strange. And then it would be a three-way tie between Spider-Man from No Way Home, the regular costume, and the Inside Out costume with J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson at the last spot. But overall, I still think these are a fantastic wave. I think it's, a, if you're really into Marvel Legends, this is a, not a must-buy, but it's on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 7. So, you know, buying it at retail price is a little... A little steep, this is about $300 Canadian, so it is expensive, but if I were, hmm, if I waited a bit, I would try to grab this whole way for around $220 Canadian, and if that's possible, I think it's a, a good buy, but at $300, it's a bit of a pass for me because there's just not enough standout figures here, uh, although it is still a decent wave. Let me know what you guys think of this video down in the comment section. I know it's not a Magic the Gathering video, it's a Marvel Legend video, but if you want to see more Marvel Legend figure reviews and just Marvel Legends videos in general, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to bring those to you. All right, see you guys in the next one. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.